great kid, great kids, great people, well-educated adults. He and his wife, Debbie, have been exceptional parents. It is truly my privilege to respectfully request this commission to confirm the appointment of my friend, Judge William Dato, to the Court of Appeal. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justice Weiner. The commission received a letter from Ms. Sharon Newton Kramer with a request to speak for two minutes in opposition to this appointment. Ms. Kramer. allowing me to come speak. I'm going to run a little over my two minutes. Um, my name is Sharon Kramer and I live in Escondido. I object to Judge Dato's appointment to the fourth first because of honest services fraud with Judge Pressman, Justice McConnell, Justice Minky, Justice Husband, Justice Iren, Justice Aaron, and several San Diego judges and clerks. I submitted documents um, see Exhibit 5 for Judge Pressman's misuse of avoid judgment. I have a degree in marketing and I am a medical journal published author regarding scientific misconduct when setting policies over disabilities caused by water damaged buildings. I'm one of the people who worked very hard to cause the CJP audit because of court crimes going unpunished. The crime of which Judge Dato is unfortunately involved is this. There's a scientifically void risk assessment model. It's called the Veritox Theory. It was penned by toxicologists at Veritox, Inc. What it does, it falsely claims to prove that toxic mold can never reach a level to disable or kill. In 205, I published a writing. It exposed how the Veritox Theory was being mass marketed into policies by joined unclean hands of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, a think tank, a U.S. congressman, a medical association, and the owners of Veritox, Inc., who are toxic toward expert defense witnesses for the United States Department of Justice, other government agencies, and insurers. Veritox relies on the fraud remaining in policies to lend undue credibility to their bogus expert testimonies when serving as toxic, uh, when basically cheating toxic mold disabled people in litigation and claims that practices. In 205, Veritox and their president, their Bruce Kelman, sued me for libel for the words altered his under oath statements in the writing. With all due respect, Chief Justice, your courts have spent 12 years harassing me and framing me for libel for those words by the creation and continued usage of void judgments, fraudulent liens, and fraud concealing remitters. In a on April 3rd, 2009, in violation of Code of Civil Procedure. So, Ms. Newton Kramer, I'm aware and have read your 45 page letter regarding uh, this I just opposition. Have a, a and you've been, a, you've been given two minutes. And you're over that now, so I'll give you 30 seconds to state in summary your position as to the confirmation of Judge Dato. 30 okay. minutes, ma'am. 30 seconds, ma'am. Please proceed. Judge Dato violated Penal Code 134 by leaving a void judgment in effect. Justice McConnell has been obstructing it from being vacated. Um, what I really came here to ask is for the Attorney General of the State of California to investigate these unpunished crimes because. Uh, the CJP's unpunished crimes because it's harming a lot of people across the United States. Will you do that? Ms. Noonan Kramer, your time is up. Your question has been put. We appreciate uh, your, your letter, and that's the end of your uh, presentation today. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Chief Justice. I hope that you will take my words seriously. Thank you.